Hello and welcome back to your friends. It's me, Aldo. We are back in a campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. And we are back in our really, really slow computer. <laughs> um, we have to do a few things. Ah, I'm working with two monitors right now. And I can't scroll. So what's that? Night game plus the burden of the Aeon. Hmm. Okay, let's move out. Let's confront some people with their Aeon past. Let's see what happens when we do that. Hello. <laughs> A bit bad, but not much. Mm -hmm. And as I said, my computer is much really, really messed up. Me and my pig, we are both moving south. Let's see if we find some people that we can tell at people. Let's look at the map first. Uh, there is one. Captain Aeon. Let's talk to him. Did I talk to him before? I think so. Oh, come on. You must be joking. Run, slotty bot fast. Yes, I talked to him. Uh, I have to go. And dialogue. Okay, let's move out there. There are a lot of people around here. I'm pretty sure we can. Come on. Move faster. I know you can. Who's here? Dorjalinda Stranglehold. Are you Dorjalinda Stranglehold? Who? The pig is talking. Great. A middle-aged dwarf salutes you casually. No, we didn't talk to her. Her face is disfigured by huge scarred claw marks. One of her eyes is covered by a black patch, but the other is looking at, your, at you sternly and intently. Dodge in the stranglehood at your service. What's your role in my army? I'm the chief quartermaster in charge of material support. I make sure our brave soldiers are armed, armored, and fed when they go into battle. Or at least two out of three are. You know how it goes. I'm also the head of the logistics council. If we're missing something, I'll report it to you right away. Uh, okay, what does the logistics council do? I, I think I asked that before. As you lead your troops in those legendary battles, we solve various non-heroic issues like what our fighters are going to eat tomorrow, how to fix a chainmail shortage, and how to get our hands on a shipment of helmets we purchased that's stuck somewhere in Ustalov. Those are the headaches we deal with. Okay. What became of the quartermaster who was taking care of the supplies during the march on Dresden? Nothing really. He got a medal for his heroism during the assault on Dresden, and now he is right back where he was keeping up the good work. It's just that the fortune is a little out of his league. When you need to supply the camp during a march, he's your man, but it takes a different set of skills to be chief quartermaster. Oh, so you are special? What's with that nickname Stranglehold? Our resident jokesters came up with it when my hand went numb from the wound. She holds up the crooked fingers withered to the bone 
After that, I left the front lines for the supply server. And then I showed every vice cracker that one hand is all you need to keep your supplies in order. My grip really is a stranglehold, you see? All those thieving quartermasters who go out of their way to sell some ammunition on the sly scat-brained officers who lose half a caravan in every skirmish, civilian milk sops, who always have a sob story to explain why they can't give anything to the army, they all learned well why people call old Dodger Linda Stranglehold. We have spells available that could restore your hand. Spend it on some poor sap whose legs got ripped off in the first battle. Thank you for your concern. I mean, you know, they come every day again. <laughs> Commander, but while we are at war, resources should be sent where we are, they are needed. I'm handling the logistics just fine with my hand. Yeah, well, I have to go. So she's not corrupted. I think that's good. Let's let's move down there then. Citizens, citizens, citizen, more citizens. Peasant, noble, citizen, horse, noble. Ah, oh, who's that? Viram. Let's move to this guy. Whoever he is. Viram and Ervard. All just straightened to attention. Hail Commander, all quiet in the fortress. This merchant, Eritel, has submitted a complaint, but we'll deal with it. What's going on here? Good afternoon, Commander. My name is Jelle. Um, Eritel. I'm a merchant. I just told the watchman I've been hearing drunken shouting around here at night. He promised they'd get to the bottom of it. There's something happening here every night after midnight. Okay. Ervard. Don't bother the commander with this. Promised you we'd deal with it. I'd like to browse your wares, trader. I mean, okay. So this is the trader and this is the, the uh, thing. And so I... I talk to the trader first. Okay. Uh, I know you broke the law. Why not? We've not broken any law, Commander. <clears throat> Ask our commanding officer. We report everything to him. We don't shirk our duties. And we even deal with civilian complaints. Yes, I can't complain about our watchmen. You try walking through the fortress at night and see for yourself. It's just right here. There's always... We said we'd deal with it, didn't we? Sure, Commander. Okay. Why is he not sure? Ooh, a rope of order. If the wearer of this rope has a key pool, the rope increases it by two. If the wearer is of lawful alignment, it grants a plus two bonus on attack rolls against chaotic enemies. This rope can be worn only by mock. Ooh, fancy. That's something for my sweet, sweet um, Len. Yeah, he can wear it. So what do you wear right now? A silky whale. This rope grants its wearer a plus one dodge bonus to AC and a plus two enhancement bonus to attack and damage rolls with unarmed attacks. Yeah. 
let's just sell it and can we just sell all these stupid what's that uh lock pick no we keep them but i really don't need these books no we just keep the blood we already sold most of the stuff eventually I mean, we could sell some of these. I mean, I never used this one. The Divine Favor is such a stupid spell. I mean, Bless, we use um, Arrow of Law. That's quite interesting. Bane mm. can be useful. Bless Weapon can be useful. I won't use Entanglement because I have it myself. Bone Shaker. Burning Hands. Caught of caught here. That's just good for small creatures, so kill it. Color spray, corrosive touch. Yeah, we will cure light wounds. I will use that. Doom, no. Don't use that. Enlarge person, yes, that's nice. Expeditious retreat, we don't use that. Ah, uh, find traps. I really don't need this one. I hope so, at least. A scroll of Firestorm. Sounds interesting. Visibility. Serious wounds. Moderate wounds. Hurricane bow. Hmm. Yeah, well. Haze of Dreams. Mm -hmm. I really don't think that I will ever use this one. Yeah, anyway. Oh, there are some more stuff things. Seem nice. A source of dividing power. For the wearer of this robe uses a divine power to summon a creature. No, we don't summon creatures. And so wear a plus five bonus to it. Kill? Nah, not really. Knowledge world and plus five to persuasion skills. That's nice. And a plus two enhancement bonus to charisma. Hmm, interesting. I mean, what are we wearing at the time? We don't have any gloves even. Hmm. No, don't want celestial protection. Dueling, dueling. Uh, shirt of blazing. F Yoko plus three, that's also nice. Let's buy at least four of them. If we can buy them. Hmm. Living flame, whenever the bearer of this cloak handles energy to harm undead for the next two rounds, they become surrounded with fire shield. Interesting. Thick cloak. Cloak of resistance plus two ground their immunity to fire. Hmm. These braces grant the wearer a plus three enhancement bonus on attack and damage rolls whenever the wearer is polymorph. A plus five resistance bonus on saving throws against demons and a plus five competence bonus on lore religion skill check. Also quite nice. Hmm. Nice things do you have, my dear friend? We have enough money for that. Okay. 
So let's put this to use for someone. And the cloak of resistance plus three. Hmm. We'll get this one. Probably my assassin. It doesn't have any cloaks yet. Yet. Hello. Can you just put it on? Okay, let's let's do it like that, old-fashioned way. Okay, uh, so this is Viram, my friend. You know, don't make idle friends. Wait, that sounds different. I'm pretty sure they are not good guys. Yeah, come on, they're all quiet in the fortress. This merchant, Eritel, has submitted a complaint, but we'll do it. Okay. So we'll have to come here in the midst of the night, probably. Do you want to tell me like that, that I have to do this? So who's there? Exotic weapons provider. I'm a blacksmith. Let's move up there. So, come on, Slardy Bart, first. What does this thing any do anyway? I mean, if I'm not able to use it against anyone. Peasant, peasant, peasant. Ah, oh, there. Smith. Let's die. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Call of Ocean, 67,000. My god. It's a one-handed trident. Really? A trident? Who's fighting with a trident? It's probably Aquaman. Okay, no. Thank you. Noble peasant, peasant. A lot of people. Map. Nope. Rich. We'll suck arms. Exotic weapons provider. Hmm. Interesting name. Okay. Interesting. You have strange proficiencies like dwarven aches. You have a dwarven aches proficiency. Thorax Roth, 64,000 wowzers. Yeah, well, okay. That's nice, but we don't buy. <laughs> we, we were just looking. <laughs> okay, this was this. If we... If we go back to... So yeah, where is the... the is there the... Is this the graveyard? Yeah, it's the graveyard. Move to the graveyard. We should go there at night. 
I don't know how late it is. How do I find this out? Um, how late is it? I can... How late is it? Nope, it doesn't stay here. <laughs> What's that? Is this a clock? No, this is a compass. Skip time. Ah, oh, we could skip time. Current time. Three, four, six. Oh, it's near midnight. Interesting. So we're probably here at the right time. They said. Uh, they were playing at night here. There's a peasant, another citizen. Another peasant. And another citizen. And there is a crusader. Let's talk to this guy. Ah, what did I do? No. Hello. Come talk to him. Why can't we just talk to him? Ah, these people are not important enough that they can give us any information about anything. Hmm. Noble, noble, peasant. But didn't they tell me that Sorcil comes here at mid at, at night? Uh, this is a companion quest, probably. While the world burns, night gamblers. There it is. Sociel has recently taken up playing cards with soldiers in the graveyard at night. Well, it's night. Could there be a dark reason behind the young cleric's choice of pastime? Hmm. But on the other hand, he's not here. So, hmm. Did the time pass? Yeah, it passed for one hour, for, for one minute. Interesting. Um, we could go back to Sociel or to Sila. Oh, let's let's go to Sila first. Ah, don't see anything. If Sila knows knows a thing about that. And noble, noble. Crusader, Sunrise, Sword Archer. Ah, okay, Social is with the Asila, not Social, is with the Fighters not on the graveyard. Oh, it's day. I think we should go to settle oh, now. No, 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 no. Go away, Sila. You don't have anything to say to me. There is some board, cardboard, in the uh, recruit, recruit, guard. Sunrise sword. And we can talk to him, praise the commander. Look at that. have anything to say. Hmm. So let's go back to Sosiel. Well, 
What did I do? So if we don't find anything out here, we will go outside and do some more running around and killing things. Oh come on, why are why am I so slow? This game is killing me. Look at that. This is all all because of Windows 11. I weren't that slow before. Let's talk to M first. What do you think about that? Why should I ask her? I mean, she's so... No, why not? I mean, it's a RPG. You take everything that you can. Don't believe titles. All of us in the world are children of the street. Effort, hungry, scared. A step away from death. Some imagine they are strong and rich like God. But don't forget who you really are behind the title. Okay, thank you. You weren't helping at all. So, Sosian, where are you? Peasant, peasant. Okay, I can't even talk to him about it anymore. Ah, oh, this is stupid. Okay, I will fear for today. I will walk out of the city. <laughs> Not with you, with you looking at how slow I am. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time again. Until then, bye.